A pleasant greetings to all. In this video, I am going to explain Schering's bridge. What is the use of Schering's bridge? Which is used to find the measurement of unknown capacitance. This is the circuit diagram for Schering's, Schering's bridge. How to remember the circuit diagram? How many capacitance? There are three capacitance. So Schering bridge only use the more more capacitance, so you have to keep in mind. This is the branch number one, one capacitance is there. Branch number two, another one capacitance. Three, there is no capacitance. And the four also, we are having the capacitance C4. First of all, we are going to see what is C1. C1 is the capacitor whose capacitance is to be determined. So this is the unknown capacitor unknown capacitor and what is R1? R1 is the loss in the capacitor C1 is represented by R1. Loss in the capacitor C1 is represented by R1. And what is C2? C2 is the standard capacitor. So standard capacitor is a constant one that is standard capacitor. And what is R2? R2 is the, yes, there is no R2, R3. R3 is the non-inductive resistor. Non-inductive resistor. And what is R4? R4 also non-inductive resistor. That is in parallel with C4. C4 is what? Variable capacitor. In this way, have to remember this. And next, how to find the equation for the unknown capacitor easily? Have to give one clue to find out the equation. So, if, for here I am going to find out C1 and R1. So main name is to find out C1, but the loss of the capacitance is represented as R1. So both the quantities we are going to find out. So for finding out uh, R1, what we have to do? First of all, write R1. So in the opposite, which one is there? C4 is there, R4 is there. But what I have to write? The C4. Then that is equal to R3. So this n we are having R3. So R3 divided by what is the capacitance in the opposite n that is C2. So what is R1 now? R1 equal to R3 C4 divided by C2. So this is the way of finding out R1. And in the similar manner how to find out C1. So first you have to write C1. C1 which will be resistance opposite to the C1 is R4. That is equal to the second branch we are having C2. So which one the resistance is opposite to that? That is R3. So how to write the equation C1? R4 C2 divided by R3. So this is the way we can remember it easily. And next I am going to explain how to write the equation and how to find out this R1 and C1 in the mathematical derivation. Okay, first of all, in any bridge, what is the balance condition? The balance condition is Z1 into Z4 that is equal to Z2 into Z3. That is the balance condition of the bridge. So what is Z1? Z1 equal to R1 plus 1 by J omega C1. Into what is Z4? Z4 is the R4 parallel C4. And then you have to write here R3 divided by J omega C2. 
And next what I have to do? First of all, I am going to find out the parallel combination of R4 and C4. So, what is the formula in the parallel combination R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2 when two resistors are connected in parallel. In the similar manner, R4 by 1 by J omega C4 whole divided by R4 plus 1 by J omega C4. Okay, next how to write R4 divided by here j omega c4 both both in the denominator terms that will be cancelled so r4 into j omega into c4 plus 1 okay now i have to substitute instead of this i have to substitute this one so r1 plus 1 by j omega c1 into R4 divided by J R4 omega C4 plus 1. That is equal to R3 by J omega C2. Okay, next line how to write R1 plus 1 by J omega C1 into R4. That is equal to R3 divided by J omega C2 in the 1 plus this term. 1 plus J R4 omega C4 plus 1. Sorry. Next what I have to do? I have to multiply these terms. R1 into R4 plus R4 divided by J omega C1. That is equal to R3 divided by J omega C2 plus J omega J omega get cancelled. So R3 R4 C4 divided by C2. Next what I have to do, I am going to equate the imaginary and real part on both sides of the equation. First of all, I am going to equate the real parts in this equation. So, real terms. So, R1 into R4 that is equal to R3 R4 C4 divided by C2. Both R4 get cancelled. So, what is the answer? R1. R1 is R3 in the C4 divided by C2. Okay, this is the way to find out R1. And next, I am going to equate the imaginary part of this equation. So, imaginary part. Our imaginary terms of this equation are equated. So, imaginary term R4 by J omega C1. That is equal to R3 by J omega C2. J omega, J omega get cancelled. What is C1? C1 is R4 in the C2 divided by R3. So, this is the way to find out C1. Now we get the unknown capacitance and the loss in the unknown capacitance that is R. Afterwards, we are going to find out the dissipation factor. So, what is dissipation factor? Dissipation factor is equal to delta. Delta equal to omega into R4 into C4. So, that is the dissipation factor. Here, omega into the value equal to R, R1 you have to substitute. So, omega R1 C1. So, what is R1? Omega into R3. Sorry, this is R1 C1. R3 C4 divided by C2 into R4 C2 divided by divided by R3. So, R3, R3 get cancelled. Then C2, C2 get cancelled. Finally, we get omega R4 in the C4. So, this is the final answer for the dissipation factor. That's all. Thank you. Have a nice day.